Hey everybody, it's time for a nighttime movie. Oh yeah, it's time for a nighttime movie, cartoon, movie, cartoon, and anime review intro as the Douglas Blair Roberts YouTube social media personality. There will be two. This is a nighttime version with the skinny jeans sweatsuit with zipper. Zipper, one of my real life superhero costumes, but it'll be done as the Douglas Blair Roberts YouTube social media personality based um, character. Yeah, the songs that will be used will be Sonic Weekend and Sonic Back in Time. Even though it never has to match, I always like it to match. I like the intro and the actual video portion when it's a webcam and it will be a webcam for the most part from now on because I just don't feel like finding a bunch of pictures to record a, a project so from now on unless it's a franchise I've never seen before I haven't seen that much of it will be it will be a part one and two webcam especially now that I know how to use custom web custom thumbtails so um, with that being said you don't want to hear the Oh yeah, with that being said, let's get the music started right now. Hey everybody, it's now time for my part one remade webcam review of the July 2024 summer blockbuster Marvel superhero film Deadpool and Wolverine. And boy, what an awesome film this was. 
this right here was the this was not only the best Deadpool film of the three Deadpool movies this was the best Wolverine film but the best X-Men film this makes all the previous X-Men films even my opinion the awesome one through three in Wolverine Origins which I consider some of the best ever look lame in comparison this film right here was freaking awesome not only did it live up to my expectations it exceeded my expectations to see the larger more in-depth part two real life superhero version where I go over the more about the storylines cameos and everything and what I hope to see from the future that will be in the description box below but right now is this um is this film right here this was the Marvel film we needed after that after the god-awful Marvel's film from October of last year which I celebrated that film's failure and then in March of this year we got the god-awful Madam Web film which 2024 isn't even over yet and that right there is already probably the worst movie of this year of this year finally another good superhero and putting those Marvel naysayers in their place I'm sick of the Marvel naysayers thinking the Marvels a Madam Web especially Madam Web which is more Sony thinking they're the end all the be all of Marvel they, they, they always try to, they always, they always, they're, 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 they're such closet haters of Marvel that they try to um they try to they try to they try to attach them they try to um judge Marvel success Marvel success and failures oh yeah George judge Mar Marvel for its failures which its failures aren't even big time franchises like Eternals Shane Chi Shane Chi and Ant Man um three Ant Man three is big time but outside of his stuff with the Avengers no one cares about Ant Man despite how important he is to the storyline and lore so once again putting them in what's his name but like I said the Marvels and Madam Web especially are not the end all the be all of the MCU and Wolverine and Deadpool right here just showed it it's not superhero fatigue no it was just terrible it was just terrible weak movies which is what the Marvels and Madam Web were and also timing when it came to releasing these movies put constantly pushing these movies back so long people eventually stopped caring like I said the pandemic it ruined every it ruined a bunch it ruined everything and one of the industries this one of the industries that suffered was Hollywood the entertainment business they suffered the most from the pandemic lots of shows and things were canceled businesses were closed because of the pandemic and things that kept getting pushed back to the point people wouldn't care now it is at least it's better than DC the DCEU see Marvel can push things back and still get a decent return the DCEU couldn't do that they flopped harder when it came to their films so yeah Wolverine and um, De Wolverine and um, Wolverine and Deadpool. And I didn't think it would ever be possible. I didn't think it would ever be possible to get those blue, yellow, Wolverine's cool yellow and blue s spandex in re in uh, real life. And it looks awesome. Well, without the mask, the mask looks looks goofy. The mask looks goofy. That's probably one of the only things I hated. You know, there was only a couple of things um, I hated, and they were involving the characters Juggernaut, Sabretooth, and Toad who made cam so and the human torch who all make cameos here in this movie right here here in this movie right here and um and um and um yeah some of the other highlights was the cameos of blade electra yeah blade electra and gambit with both blade and electra being played by their original live action actors from what will be the previous marvel cinematic universe and Gambit, it looks like looked like Channing Tatum out there. I don't know who plays Gambit, but this was an awesome Gambit, and way better than that Wolverine Origins Gambit. Who I love that Wolverine Origins Gambit, but this one right here was so much better. And if I didn't see him already, Juggernaut was another thing I didn't like. Was another thing I didn't like about this film. I'll go more elaborate more in the part two real life superhero version. And this is also the multiverse the multiverse movie that Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness should have been I enjoyed Doctor Strange but that film was weak and a disappointment this is what of the multiverse a multiverse movie which should have been this did this um 
this film did the multiverse thing much better justice and utilized it much better than Doctor Strange did and utilized it to its full potential. And soundtrack was awesome. Never thought I would hear Madonna's Like a Prayer in a Deadpool of X in an X-Men movie and it works here. And speaking of um Deadpool, I was wondering how Deadpool's placement would be in this super serious comedic MCU. The MCU is comedic, but it's a serious comedy compared to what Deadpool is. And they managed to successfully do it. They managed to successfully doing it. And speaking of Deadpool, this movie felt more like a Deadpool movie. And Ryan Reynolds felt more like Deadpool in this movie than he did in the previous two. The previous two films felt more like Jason Freeberg, Aaron Setzer, disaster movie, epic movie, epic movie, Meet the Spartans, Meet the Spartans and um scary movie scary movies scary oh yeah scary movie um family guy cutaway gags style of movie with a Deadpool character. This movie right here felt more like a Deadpool. The first two were garbage in my opinion. One of the things I liked about this one was the fourth wall breaking. Only Deadpool does it here in this movie. In the previous two everyone does it. Everyone recognizes he or she is in a film which takes away the fun. In the comic books, Deadpool was the only one who knew he was in a comic book. He was in a comic book or a cartoon or whatever. The other characters would look at him like, huh? And that was the case here. And this film was actually funny, not just references. Like I said, like you see in the crappy Jason Freeberg and Recessor movies. This movie actually had jokes and was actually funny. Best movie, best movie ever. It deserves all the praise. Round of applause. Yeah. Round of applause. Only had a couple of gripes, which I will talk about more in, in the part two real life superhero version. So, with that being said, which that will be in the description box below, and it'll be uploaded with this one. You don't want to hear the rest of the music? Turn the video off right now. Yeah. 